Thanks for calling. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hi, this is Candy with the group. How are you? Great. How are you today? Good. You were yeah, calling uh, about Julian? Yeah. Is that one still available? Yes, correct. Perfect. Um, I was trying to see, is that like a um, rental property or something? or? No, they own it. The seller's oh, owner. okay. Okay. But you I can know, rent it, was... it out, I'm sure. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for, some investment property. Um, we buy okay. houses, you know, for cash. And, you know, as long as it makes sense and everybody's happy, um, I'll be more than happy to buy it. Now, this one here looks like it's been listed for quite a while. Do you know why it hasn't sold yet? Yep. Um, so they are a family, and he wants to move closer to the schools. And so he has to buy another house. So he needs to make, you know, make sure that it makes sense for him. I've gotten a lot of low ball offers and that's not gonna work for him. Oh, uh, okay. Well that's what they do, right? Nice and low ball offers and hope somebody takes it. <laughs> right. I know. I know. And he's just you know, he's got two kids and he's just trying to move in closer to the school. So yeah. he just can't take anything, you know. Yeah, I can understand that. Well hopefully there's something we can do to help him out. Um and yeah. so what and so what kind of timeline are they on? Are they trying to move kind of quick or they got some more time to, you know, find a place? He actually he actually can stay and um lease for a little bit after the closing if if that's possible or um I mean he probably needs like 2 months or something. Maybe 45 days, but hopefully like 60 days. Just cuz he's trying to save some money to move. Yeah, that makes sense. And I definitely, uh, we've done it in the past, at least back to somebody after we buy the property. Yeah, it's yeah, that would be awesome. So uh, you said they've already been given some lowball offers, and he was like, nope, no way, huh? Well, he said no, not me. Correct. Yes. <laughs> um, let me see here. Do you know, you have an idea where he needs to be to get it sold? or? Yeah, we probably to need to be around like 125 is what he's telling me. So um, we did have it listed at 140, so he's come down pretty pretty low, but um, that's what he needs to be at. Okay, let's see here, 125. Yeah, because I let's see here that one. Let me see in the comps over there. I'm trying to pull it back up. I had it up when I called you earlier. Do you know what oh, they're selling for in that area? What'd you say? I'm sorry. Do you know what they're selling for over in that area? Um, yeah, I mean I was I I had it going for one thirty nine and it was it was I had found a lot of houses over there that were that. Not everyone, obviously, but there were some. Well, um, Candy, what we uh, we can give an offer, but it's probably going to be a little bit lower than that, probably closer to the, around the hundred thousand mark. But I guess he wouldn't take that. Huh? Oh yeah, that's not going to work. Nope. Well, also there's another way uh, we could buy it. We had a situation similar like this before, where we had a property that was um, trying to be sold in the same way. What we did in that situation is we gave the seller a down payment and we made them payments over time, and we covered the real estate commission as well so to make sure you would get paid. You think something right. like that would work for this seller? What would that get him to? Uh, we could probably get close to that price uh, in the 120, 120s range. I'm thinking that price point sounds reasonable. Yeah, if you can put something together, yeah, that would be awesome for me to give to him. Yeah. I think so that, would you know be, that would be interesting. He might be interested in that. Do you know if he needs the money to uh, buy his other place he's moving to and everything, or what? Do you know about that part? Yeah, he does. Um, yes, correct. Because I'm just trying to figure a way to, you know, make sure it solves all of his problems, everybody's problems, and it's a smooth transaction for everyone. Yeah, right. Do you know what he would need in his pocket as far as to get his other place and stuff, or are you, you're not sure? Well, he owes seventy five on it, so um that's why he needs the other part. Okay. And then the loan that he has, is that like a uh, FHA or VA loan? Uh I I do not have that. I'm not positive. I'd have to ask him. 
no problem. Well, we can figure it out. Uh, so like I said, we've uh, structured these creative type deals in the past where basically we would take over that payment, uh, that underlying debt that's on there, mm-hmm. and we would you know, make sure that his equity is covered and make sure your commission is covered. So everybody's, you know, good with it. Yeah, that'd be so, awesome. Yep. So what I'll do is I'll get something drawn up here as far as what we can okay. do. Um, you can present it to your seller. Um, it also has some frequently asked questions, FAQs on there for common questions that most people ask. Like, what about the Oh, yeah, that'd be awesome. Yeah. Have you done creative deals like this before? I have not. I had um, someone talk to me about this, a similar situation with a different house, but it didn't pan out. Yeah. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. It's just another yeah. yeah, yeah. It's well, something at least to things, check out. Yeah, most definitely. Is there any other properties you have in a similar situation to this that we could possibly look at as well, or is it just this one? I have that you probably could look at too. Six, three, it's two. a two, two bed, uh, three bed, one bath, um, and um, she just had it. All the floors redone. Um, I think the reason my other buyer didn't buy it just because it had the one bath. But it's, yeah, it's can, newly refinished. What? Yeah, that definitely can make a difference. Everybody wants two bathrooms. <laughs> I know. I know. Well, and there is a rough-in in the basement. It just needs to be put in. Oh, okay. I like this house. I just pulled it up on here. Nice yeah, it's, really, it's super cute. She just had the deck repainted. Um New floors, like I said, she just bought a new refrigerator, a new stove, I believe. Um, yeah, and she's she's pretty motivated to sell it. So what was that like a flip or something, or just the property that is trying yes. to get on? Correct. Of the flip. Okay. So yeah, I'll take a look at that one here too, and then I'll send you something for this other one uh, over here. Yeah, what's that'd the be best awesome. Email? What's the best email for you? My email is Kim. So that's fine. I will send you an email with an outline what we can do for this uh, first one here. And even if this one doesn't work, you know, I still want to work with you. Sound like a really good person. I like your oh, spirit. You, you know, you've got a good attitude. You know, people like that Thank I like to you. work with. You know, other than that, is there anything that I can assist you with? Anything I can help you with? Oh no! Thank you so much. I hope we can do that because I really. He's super motivated. It's just we got to have the right deal. So hopefully we can figure it out. That's right. We're going to make sure you get paid. So that's the main game. We're going to follow. Oh, follow thank and get you. Him. That'd be I awesome. Appreciate it. All right. So I'll be sending you this email here shortly. Okay. Okay. Thanks so much. See ya. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye.